Welcome back. Welcome back. We're having us a uh, brand new challenge. Something I believe is going to be a little bit easier than our previous challenges. Make sure everything's looking good. Yup. Yup. Come on, Bubba. Let's beat us a bosses. I should have put it for English. Right, so, the restrictions for this run, uh, can only use bayonets, obviously. Um, I think that's it. The bayonets are not bad, they're good and quick. So I shouldn't have to cast Skull King to death again. But bandits definitely complement a mage playstyle the most. They've got a really cheap ranged attack that you can use to uh, draw enemies in closer for a barrage or an AOE blast or, you know, something of that nature. Hoo wee, that was one crazy party, little lady. Me and them boys have been drinking. I can barely stand up straight. Better get used to my terrible redneck accent. I spent 10 years living in uh, West Tennessee. So, yeah. I've, 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 I've had a lot of practice with it. Although perhaps my accent's a bit rusty. So, same plan as before. We're gonna rush the Howling Pit, grab us a plus four bayonet, and uh, then onwards and upwards. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident about this run. This one shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see. First things first, obviously, is we need a bayonet. The bayonet I'm going to go for, and probably use throughout the entire run, is the lost bayonet. I'll use it for status effects after I, you know, kill the first few bosses with it. I might switch to Riot Breaker and use that for pure physical stuff. Yeah, huh? Hooray. Not even gonna disturb that gentleman. Alright. Yep. I, I'm familiar with that. That is a heavy axe, we're just gonna pass it up. Yeah, huh. I, I, I understand, game. That is an Iker Concentrate, and while that'll be useful, I'll, I'll just pass it up some more. Um. Ooh, okay, cool. Oh god. We're fine. We're fine. Oh god. We're fine, I swear. I wanted the upgrade material, please. Oh god. Alright. This is okay. I want this. Sure, let's activate this thing. We should be pretty set for now. Cat's in the litter box, so I'm just gonna mute myself.
Okay. Oliver's dead. All according to plan. And this is how you speed run. I'm not very good at it. You can spam the uh, launch attack and then backstep repeatedly. Uh, who actually has quick mobility? There we go. Ranger's got quick mobility. But we want adrenaline. That will affect not only our melee damage, but it will also affect our bullet damage. So a little bit of uh, slow rolling to start with, pardon me gentlemen. Actually kind of like the Lost Bayonet, it's got good, it's got a good aggressive move set. Grab these life gems. This is gonna get me killed. Let's get out of here. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Flawless. We're gonna hit this and yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to kill this guy then. Oh boy. Unless we die ourselves. Wow, these things are tenacious. a few more things that we need to grab. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Hey, there we go. Let's see. We also want drain rating. Yeah, that's fine. an extra awake module. Nice. I'm just gonna backstab this clown. Yeah, I should have been careful with that. Okay, everything's dead. Did that guy drop anything? I don't care. Right, onwards and upwards. Let's go ahead and uncover this map for reasons. <laughs> I almost, almost went off the edge with him. We're fine, though. We're fine. Did I ever pick up the Hound's Blood Veil? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Alright, whatever. Um, I don't really have any idea of what kind of Blood Veil I'm going to be using. 
Probably Nightclaw, just because it's light. Let's see. First, we gotta get rid of this guy. We'll go about this very methodical. By hugging this over here, we can sneak past both big guys. Outstanding. Right now, on to Ranger. Um, I should really double back and get Poison Mark. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy first, though. Alright, beautiful. We've got so many baby awake modules, this is nice. Let's slap in a few of these. And yeah, the rest doesn't matter so much. So we are going to rest at this one, and purchase Venom Mark, maybe a couple of other things. Uh, like this we need... Uh, you know, we'll just go ahead and spend our Haze and Baby Awake modules on it. I don't believe there was anything out of Caster we wanted yet yeah, now. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got nothing. That's fine. That is a Queen Slayer Blade. Not interested. It's not a bayonet. Uh, yeah, let's fight this dude. Nice and easy. No big panics. It's gonna be a calm, relaxing challenge run. Honestly, it's something I kinda need. Because of the last challenge run. Dear god, that was awful. Check it out! Ranged attacks! Now I can piss enemies off and bring them to me. Come on, ugly. There is a small, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, small dead zone when it comes to the bayonets. Like, they can't aim as high up as spells can, but it's nothing, like, too detrimental. I believe that is just haze. It'll be handy, but it's not super useful. Did I make a dumb? I feel like I made a dumb. I did make a dumb. Alright, well. Looks like we're doubling back for this queen iron. I don't particularly need it, but it'll be nice to have. I may as well grab the hound's blood veil while I'm at it. No, wait, I want to go back this way. Excuse me, sir. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm not interested in fighting him. Excuse me, gentlemen. You 
know, maybe I should be collecting all of the i -Core Concentrate. Might come in handy later. Yeah. And now we lose our quick dodge. Oh, no, no, we still have it. Well, this is how you speedrun. Alright, I'm not very good at it. But you can just spam that, and since you can dodge at the end of it, you just chain those together. <laughs> I'm very not good at it. One of the reasons why I don't really speedrun this game. Pardon me, excuse me. And everything past this point is already dead. Get out of here, Lewis. Nobody likes you. Wee. Oh, no, everything's back because I used the checkpoint. Okay. Well then. Well there we go. Um I have I've got nothing. I probably should have saved some awake uh baby awake modules for um later gifts and just did the fighting to clear out the the blood guard. But it's fine. Yep. You can't shoot me. Come over here away from the big dude. Uh, well, damn. I might still be able to make it. Uh, nope. Alright, whatever. Alright, well, he's gonna get some of this. Because I can! drop anything, did he? Doesn't look like it, and if he did, it's not important. Alright, so Oliver, first boss, he's gonna be a piece of cake. I've killed him with a bayonet before, so there should be no problem whatsoever. Everything's dead. Well, you gotta be quick with that. Almost went too far. What damn. Well, this will be fine. I'll just run in there and poison the shit out of him. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned that this will also be a no partners playthrough, with the exception of Oliver. Since there's nothing you can do about it, Lewis is going to tag along no matter what. Excuse me.
And he's dead. Piece of cake. I remember when Oliver made me nervous. Not so much anymore. He's kind of a joke. So... Let's think a little more. Other restrictions. Uh, bayonets only. Can only use... Uh, no, no partners, I mean. Mm -hmm. No ranged spells? I shouldn't really need it, considering I've got, you know, a bayonet. I've, I've got, like, rifle blasts. I think... After Riot Breaker, we'll probably pick up the Queen Slayer, and then just keep the Lost Bayonet in our back pocket. We will be going through and killing all the bosses, obviously. Just because there isn't really a boss that gives me an enormous amount of trouble. Oh, an, an optional boss that gives me an enormous amount of trouble. Mm-hmm. Alright. And then we get Lewis's blood code, and then we skip a cutscene. And then, yeah, we continue on our merry way. Ooh, sneezing. Okay, how much? I only have three. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that'll be enough to get it to a plus two. Since I'm here, might as well. Why not, right? Yep. Beef this up for me. I'll see you later. Um, what sort of goodies? Uh, should we make it venom? We don't have enough haze to make it venom. We'll wait. All right, outstanding. Oh, I wanted to buy the other blood veil. Whatever. We'll wait to turn the bayonet venom till after we pick up the camera in uh, Cathedral Sacred Blood. Oh, Lewis, get out of here. I forgot to tell him to stay at home. Yeah, get out of here. All right. So continuing on to ruined city center. Just immediately right away, we're gonna make our way to Howling Pit and then jump down it. There are 
a ton of very, very useful um, upgrade materials down there. There's exactly two queen steel, which is what you need to take your weapon up to plus four, which will then in turn, oopsies, make um, Butterfly and everybody else much, much easier. Did I already pass the depths map? Yeah, it looks like I did. Oh well. Dang. I don't plan on going into the depths, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Yep, more cutscenes. We might need to alleviate the uh, Hound's Blood Veil, but it shouldn't be that big of a priority. We will probably pick up uh, Blade Dance, though. That will be very useful in killing old Slimy Stripper. Considering that the bayonet is a quick attacking weapon, it would be quite nice. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I should probably swap to Prometheus so that we can start getting some of the other stuff. I'm sure there's a passive I could use. Uh, I'm gonna die. Not really paying attention. Yeah, this thing is a little bit weak, so we're gonna fire off adrenaline. Hello, sir. I beg your pardon, game. the other goody that I missed? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Ah, there it is. Yes, I did want that queen iron. Uh, fancy Cologny, not exactly sure what its use is just yet. I'd have to check the, um, I'd have to check the cheat sheet of valuable trading. It might be useful to trade to Ava, and I can get her bayonet, which is actually not bad. It's got the same moveset as the Light Piercer, except um, it's just all physical. It does much, much better damage. We will be going for good slash true ending. It'll be true if I remember to repair all the Aos Vestige cores. I probably will forget, so most likely it's going to be a good ending. Ow. I'm just gonna... I did get a dagger in the ass. You think you're so clever, huh? Damn city slickers. Yay, we got Phantom Assault. That'll be useful. That will be a melee skill we can use with our little bayonet here. Speaking of skills for bayonets, you better believe I'm getting Fusillade Rondo. Fusillade Rondo, whatever. It is downright silly. Especially since the last patch, you got a serious buff. Oh, a good deal. All these 109s, I'm quite pleased. Uh, game. 
and by oh. So right now we're not really doing anything fancy with a bayonet. When we get a bayonet that has a built-in backstep with its move set, we'll probably be making better use of the, uh, you know, rifle aspect of the bayonet. But for now, we're just gonna cut everything to pieces. Thing? Hey, how much of that do we have now? Perfect. We'll go ahead and make our bayonet plus three. I think we should go and grab the other blood veil. I'm kind of torn. Actually, we could go and get the uh, Night Claw, but that is quite a distance away. I think we'll be fine just like this. Let's actually teleport back to home base, grab, let's try to grab Yakimo's Blood Code. We'll also upgrade our bayonet again, and then we will also, also grab the, um, grab a different colored blood veil. I might do umber hounds for reasons. We could alleviate one of the hounds veils now that I'm thinking about it. That'll give us much better mobility. Although it doesn't matter much. Normal mobility is perfectly fine. Hey up. Yeah, I know. Uh... Alright, well... I guess I have to see Yakimo's... Oh, this? It's called Onigiri. Gotta see that cutscene first before he'll give me his blood code. Cool. Um. Oh wow, these are available from the very beginning. What do you know? Let's do Umber Hounds. I never use this thing. Probably a waste of money. But whatever. I want it. And that's reason enough to pick it up. So we got us a beefy bayonet. We've got us some new duds. I'm secretly hoping it'll complement my uh, Make America Great Again hat. I, I might have tried a little bit before stream to get the white part, but no dice. Yeah, okay, that's not terrible. Oh, hey. That is a friend of mine. I met him in playing Code Bane. Oh boy. Alright, we lived. And 
No, I've got a ranged attack. I can piss off enemies without actually having to put myself in danger. This is this is the happiest day of my life. Boop. Whoops. Gotta get a little closer. Boop. Um, a little closer. Boop. Seriously. All right. Well, that didn't do much good. Oh, I was expecting that low kick. Ah. Oh. I thought I was going to be clever. No such luck. There is a vestige core around the corner that I do kind of want. Trading hits there. It's fine. Alright, let's bring on the pain. Or not? Alright, cool. Let's continue then. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep the Umber Hounds. We'll also stick with the Prometheus Blood Code, just for the simple fact that it's somewhat decent when it comes to uh, Icor. Oh yeah, this is how you get that one little gem over here. You might be able to see it. There it is, all the way down there. Um. I'm gonna try something real dumb. But it should be good. Huh, nope, it's bad. Okay, minor setback. Not a big deal. Still alive. Oh, the dogs are almost here. Well, he's dead. That's fine. You know, I really, really, really hope the Atlas Blood Code has enough dexterity for this weapon. Otherwise, this is not going to be good. Excuse me, I wanted to do that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Come on now. I thought I almost had it. He's gonna kill me. Whew, that could have gone a lot worse. Okay, let's try that again.
Oh, I got all of them. Whoops. Excuse me. I'm just gonna break your guard, dude. Or chip you out, that works too. Delicious Icor Concentrate. Not interested in that bus full of fools. So, let's reclaim our haze, carefully pick our way down to the bottom. I believe it might actually be more effective to drop straight down there. That might kill me. Uh, we'll just retrace our steps. Eep. Uh, didn't happen. Did didn't happen. <laughs> It was only like 3,000 haze, it's not that big of a deal. Considering I'll be getting so much more whenever I go through the swamp, I probably should have just rolled with it. Whatever. There's an awake module that I want. It's on one of the smaller outcroppings. So how's your day going? We're, we're gonna be here loading for a while. Um, my day's kind of okay. Woke up a little late, but still within relatively uh, reasonable amount of time. I was rushed this morning, and that's just unfortunate. The uh, weather's awfully damp and unpleasant, though. I was fully anticipating it to snow again. But now it's just really nasty rain. I was planning on going through the, uh, going to go grocery shopping. I might have to call a taxi. But if I do call a taxi, I'm only going to call a taxi one way. Which then presents the problem of sitting around at the grocery store with perishables and no real way to refrigerate them. I mean, I could just sit and wait for the wait for the uh, taxi to show up before I actually purchase, like, go through the checkout, but that seems like kind of a dick move to the cab driver. Okay, we're back. Let's do this again. module, hooray. Seriously, come on now. Alright. That's dead. You know what? We are gonna buff up our damage a bit. So we can kill these guys in two hits. Yo, come on. There. Oh, you son of a... Uh, I should have timed that a bit better. Oh, well, no matter. Well, we'll just run up and whack this guy with one, too. die, so let's heal. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, this works. Make sure that I grabbed the thing back here. Yep, I did. Wait, aren't I sitting on another healing thing? Yeah. My mama usually tells me I'm not the sharpest tool in the crayon box. Okay, let's try that again with less stupid. Let me drop over here. Come out over here, line it up. Perfect. And then adjust right it down there. Got it. Now this is the trickier one. Um, I think I've got this wrong if I'm honest. I might be able to zip over there, but it's probably a bad idea. Let's just descend and grab the elevator instead. We've collected a whopping nothing on our descent. Great. Oh well, whatever. Going up. Fifth floor. Duck calls and camo. There we go, yeah, I should look for some mossy oak patterned blood veils. Alright, well, we're gonna go around this way then. I want the things in this pit. Usually I ignore them, but I remember wanting a lot of very, very, very nice um what do you call it? Wanting some very nice gifts that I couldn't get because I was lacking 109s. Let's zip over uh, this way. Perfect. And this should set us up to grab that other one. Wherever it went. Where is that tiny one? Oh, uh, there it is, okay. So, from there, to there, to here. Alright, yeah. Ooh, this is going to be a little bit risky. But I got the thing I wanted. Perfect. And line it up. Beautiful, we got everything. So you can just drop down here and grab it all at once. Alright, cool. We're about to get a checkpoint immediately when we enter the next area, so let's... just go there. Cool. All right, outstanding. Now, we did skip over a few vestige cores. Um, but I believe the one we want is an assassin. No, it might be hunter, I'm not sure. We'll check at this first checkpoint. We definitely, definitely need to grab Iron Will first. So, hit the checkpoint, and head back to home base. Then we'll have access to the Atlas Blood Code, if I'm not mistaken.
and in the Atlas Blood Code we'll be getting uh oh hell what's it called? Iron Will. That's right. We'll be grabbing Iron Will. And I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Probably Strength Dexterity. No, I think that one's part of Prometheus. Strength Vitality, more than likely. Alright. Hello, sir. Beautiful. If he just talks to you without a dialogue box option, it usually means he's going to give you his blood code. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, okay, see you around, buddy. Uh, just standard dexterity. Strength dexterity. I beg your pardon? Wait, where's Iron Will? Iron Will is part of Berserker. I'm dumb. I'm made a stupid. We want this, though. That'll be very handy. Ah, yes, we've got just barely enough. Give me that, give me that. I know for a fact we do not have enough dexterity with Berserker. I sort of want Flashing Fang. That'll be useful much, much later in the game. But otherwise, it doesn't look like there's much I really want. Strength Vitality up would be very nice, of course. We'll grab Blade Dance. Hasten, we probably won't need. Uh, inhibit? Probably not. Savvy Evasion would be nice. But it's not a huge requirement. Ah, new voice phrase. Cue. So, slap that on there. Put that on there. We really, really, really need uh, Blood Sacrifice. I think that's part of Assassin. Oh, no, no, here it is. It's part of Hunter. Okay. Hunter Vestige 3. You know what? We're going to backtrack to Ruined City Center. Because I need Blood Sacrifice to enable using multiple gifts, especially if that includes Blade Dance. And Blade Dance is going to be a source of pretty pretty solid damage at the beginning. Okay, looks like we're not done in Ruined City Center. I was so eager to jump into the uh, Howling Pit and upgrade my weapon, I didn't think about collecting Vestige Cores outside of the Howling Pit. Strength and Dexterity up will be very nice. There's a few... Um, well, no, I'll, be, I'll probably be using Queen Slayer for the better part of the game. After I unlock it. Yeah, nice. My dog didn't drop anything, did it? Nope. He really lopped that thing. Alright. Still looking good, though. Ooh, 
almost forgot about you, buddy. Deserved. Beautiful. I approve. Come on, dude. Come over here. You want to counterattack me, right? This will work. on now. Whatever that works. And now we will have to clear out the bus of fools. Starting with this guy. Excuse me, I thought I swung twice. That's fine. Dogs are not interested. Nice and painless. Hello, doggos. Blade Dance was a good choice. Wait, did I pass? No, it's further up. I'm going to kill these guys for reasons. Reasons that are not altogether clear to me. Just fine already. I think I want the extra haze. That's the reason why I'm doing this. That is a Bardiche. I'm not interested. Under normal circumstances, I would pick it up, because I kind of like the Bardiche. Ow. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Don't do it. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Come on, now. Do not have an inhibit removal, so that can be quite, quite frightening. Go on, dude. That works. I parry that. Okay, we need to run in here and piss off these little guys before he sees. Ah, oh, shit. Now it's gonna get dicey. Backstab you, jerk. Whatever, that works. I need to remember that the running attack on the bayonet is quite, quite short range. No matter, we got the vestige we wanted. 
I know I'm forgetting something near one of these cars. It's hidden very well. Wait, are you over here? No, I think it's these two first. Skipped a guy. Whoops. What? Die already. Something for Mia? We might actually pick up the Brodea. Brodea? Brodea? I don't know. I'm not a florist. Mia's bayonet. It's like a Queen Slayer bayonet, but does better damage and is lighter. It does have higher stat requirements, but considering that we plan on using Queen Slayer, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Well, I don't know. The Queen Slayer bayonet is already pre upgraded. It starts at level 5 when you pick it up in uh, player memories. So that might, it might actually be okay. Just a regular Queen Slayer bayonet. I won't have to farm out materials, that's for certain. More 109s. I am pleased with this development. That is why Hander, not interested. Take shots at me. And then you hide over here, and he'll run after you to try and get a bead. Aha, you fell for it. I have a sunset bayonet just out of curiosity. I'll I'll find out when this guy's dead. Nope, no sunset bayonet. Uh, it's like a Queen Slayer bayonet, but terrible. Oh, well, I guess it's not that bad. It's incredibly lightweight, so it'll make a fairly decent sidearm. She will deaggro before her little backup dancer will. Beautiful. Now that I'm between him and his uh, resting place, it should be easy to finish him off. Hey! Just what I wanted for Christmas. This can get very, very dicey. So we're going to buff ourselves to the stratosphere. Ah, oh, shit. It's a good thing I use a blood guard. Now the weapons they use are either the sunset hammer or the heavy axe, or lost heavy axe, to be specific. Which both have built-in blood damage. So... There. She's dead. Having blood guard is not a bad idea. we are low level, we'll be relying on damage from our drain attacks to finish her off quickly. Perfect. Hey, Sunset Hammer! I secretly love that weapon. It's not the best hammer, but it's pretty damn good. It is very lightweight. 
does have split damage, but that's not too bad. For the things that are weak to blood damage, it does a lot. Oh, hello, sir. Alright. Alright, fine. Outstanding. I meant to do that. And we're gonna hit her with another one as soon as she gets up. Almost to the checkpoint, then. Those are the big scary enemies that were in the way. Both handily dealt with. Now, there are a pair more vestige cores to pick up. There's one over by the angel statue that leads to the cathedral. Oh, hello, sir. I may have gently flopped down next to him. Um, and then there's also one being guarded by a big mama nearby this boss arena. It sucks that we had to travel all the way through here just to collect the vestige cores I wanted. But, you know, what can you do about it? Hopefully this will let me unlock the uh, strength passive. Since these are... Oh, wow, I'm gonna die. Change of plans. Time to rest. Uh, what I was saying is, since those guys have shields, they won't engage you immediately. They'll turtle up first and try to move in slowly. Of course, I can also just pop him from range. Take them on one at a time. Go on, dumbass. Nice, nice. I can just race in here and start swinging at this guy. Has not yet been mentioned before, but the guys in the white armor with the shields will parry you, and it will hurt a lot. However, if you use melee skill, they can't parry it. Which is good. Boss is just dead ahead, but we're not interested. We want the thing that this big mama is guarding. Ooh, that was really early. She's dead now. Alright. And I really hope Hunter 3 is over here by the uh, angel statue. That's fine. Well, that's not what I wanted. Did I already grab? Oh, I already grabbed Hunter 3. I knew that. I, I totally knew that. Alright, back to home base. We'll pick up Blood Sacrifice, and then we'll teleport back to Howling Pit, so that we can level up our weapon. And then we'll fight us an invading executioner. If we're lucky, might even challenge Butterfly of Delirium. Depending on how invading executioner goes. 
I really, really, really want a riot breaker. Now, talking about the weather again, because I'm an old man, I really hope by the end of streaming the clouds would have parted and the rain will stop. I should be optimistic for that. It's entirely possible. Wait, what was I doing? EO. Or IO. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I know Assassin has range to damage up. Which will be quite, quite useful. Being able to buff our bullet damage a bit better. However, I think I would much rather prefer having a... Oh, this clown again. I'd much rather prefer having a... A uh, sniper style bayonet rather than a spread or shotgun style. Up to now, we've only got our uh, spread style. Da -da -da -da. Beautiful. We've got Blood Sacrifice. We can refill our ammo or prepare our buffs, which is outstanding. Yep, yep, uh-huh, yeah. Well, she's sleeping, so we're going to go save while she wakes up. Well, this is being a broody little angst bucket. So we'll just let him stay over there. Uh, whoops. I didn't actually mean to talk to you. This... Oh, I'd have to go through all the rest of them. But I do have the pieces, if I'm not mistaken. Hunting feast is... Quite useful. I guess we'll go ahead and restore all of these real fast. I put my trust in yeah. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, yo, know, that's the same way I feel about him. Just as far as I can go. God. Oh, I need another one of these then. Man, more Lewis. Uh. Can it, dweeb? Alright, finally. Finally we can get a hunting feast. Whoa.
And then we'll get Assassin, and then we'll be in business. Oh god, shut up. Right then. Cool. So let's go ahead and. No, wait, no, wait. Strength Vitality is something I wanted out of the Atlas Blood Code. Because there's only like two different vitality passives. There's Mind Vitality and Strength Vitality, and Strength Vitality is the one you can get earliest. And that'll be handy for whenever we do eventually pick up Queen Slayer. We'll also be picking up, uh, what do you call it? Cleansing Light. Cleansing Light is so good. Right then. Give me this please. Well, is this? Oh no! Wait, here's hunt. Here's ranged bullets. Yeah, ranged impact. I'm dumb. Uh, we don't really want dexterity up when we can have strength dexterity up. Oh wow, that was expensive. Yeesh. Takes two twelves, which isn't that terrible. Baby awake modules. Hey, I could have unlocked that already but I believe I'm going to save it for... Oh, I won't let me see what ones I... It won't let me see what awake modules I need. Oh, well, that's fine. Right, well, let's slap a passive in there. Get it leveled up. And we also have access... No, we don't. Ew. Well, then. Okay, I guess we're going to be doing this then. Strength is at C. So I'd need two strength passives? Yeah, I would need two strength passives. That's some bullshit. Whatever. I guess I'll just be doing poor damage. Well, I could I could buff the damage I do with my... Um, I could buff the damage I do with my bullets, but... Not a whole lot else I could do with it. Slap some poison in there. Eh, let's put poison up here. And cleansing light would go there if I had it. Cool. Also don't have very good mobility. Well, we've got normal mobility, so it's not an absolute catastrophe. Could be better, though. I am a little nervous about this area because it'll be difficult to stagger the bugmen. Are these guys, whoopsies, are these guys immune to poison? They are not. Oh boy, they hit like a truck. Eventually, we will run into sea urchins. They are on the way to the thing I want.
that leads to a place I will eventually go. This area is much easier with a heavier weapon, because you can just stun lock these bugmen. However, they don't have incredible balance to begin with, so... Oh wait, this is the place I want to go. Wait a minute. Hold on a rootin' tootin' minute. This ain't right at all. Oh, hello, sir. Right, so we actually need to go this way some. Hello, Bugman. Cool, I guess. don't have this area 100% memorized. But I have a general idea of where I need to go. There we go, there's the sea urchins. They are guarding the thing that I want to grab. Let's activate these things. Uh, intelligent sea urchins. Oh shit. Fortunately, you can just stun walk them. Until they do that, oh god. Oof. Aha! There we go. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, perfectly aimed. Delicious queen iron. Outstanding. Now, there is quite a lot of loot here. And I'm gonna try my best to collect everything. Uh, I believe that's just a bunch of bugmen. I uh, did that wrong. Well, this is how I die. Dear God Almighty. Urchin and a big dude. That's like one of the worst combinations to fight. Uh. Alright, it's dead. Ooh, that got the pulse up a little bit. Not gonna lie. Assassin, and I leveled up one of my gifts. Beautiful. It might cost me my life, but all's well. Alright, so we do need to go after that center island still. So let's do that. I don't believe there's any vestige cores up there, but there should be some other very useful other items. Oh, no, I was wrong. Hello, sir. Um, I'm just gonna backstab you to death, okay? okay.
And he's dead and gone. Uh, those things don't really serve much purpose. They supposedly light up your way, but I mean... I kind of know where I'm going for the most part. Hello, sir. Dead. Another bugman over there. Alright, so we... The next vestige core is over that way. But there's a lot of minor loot this way. I'm looking for the sake. Because nothing goes with firearms quite like alcohol. Oh, okay. be going crazy. Not that that's necessarily a new development. I beg your pardon. Okay. It did actually do damage. For some reason. Oh, God. No, thank you, sir. Oh, I'm out of healing. That's unfortunate. the next big question. Do I try to go for... You know, we're just going to hit the checkpoint. We're going to loot what we can here. And... Head back to the starting checkpoint. Yoink. That should not have been a backstab, but I won't complain. There is a healing item over that direction, kind of. Yeah, much further this direction. Avoid him. Follow this outer path. Forget this. But I'm just gonna shoot him. I have a gun, for God's sake. Why am I not shooting all of the things? I thought I heard more friends behind me. I guess I was wrong. Oh, uh, why did I do that? that I am seeking is this direction. Should be a pair of bugmen up here. Yep. Might be able to get a backstab on one of them. Buddy might cause problems, though. Yep, that's death. Alright, that's fine. I didn't really have much HP left anyways. Fighting two at once was a very bad idea. Uh, 
Ah, oh, well, it's fine. Once I can get Hunting Feast... Oh, whoa, that's gonna take a while. Uh, anyways. Once I can get Hunting Feast... Uh, mastered? Should be in a much better spot. Oh, those guys didn't see me. Same song, second verse. This is the route that I want to go. Wait, what? Uh, let's grab this thing then. Yay. I want to go back further this way, however. There are some very, very, very useful things this direction, and I have not collected them yet. Uh, they split up. That's not good. Very, very, very not good. Well, this is this should set your expectations of things to come. Lots of death. Lots and lots of death. Okay then, so... I guess I will just creep around this way. Without disturbing those fellas. I can just run through here, right? Yeah. Okay, well, well then let's loop around this way. Yes, yes. There's the sake. He was around here somewhere. More importantly, I need to find the map marker. Good, that'll be useful. Here it is. Now we can see what's going on a little bit clearer. Oh, multiple bugmen. Mistakes. Very dead. God damn it. I thought I knew where the enemies were here. Uh, I believe I'm incorrect now. Needed a bit of tea. Right then, so... This is probably a mistake. 
Yeah, I thought I heard something chasing me. Diagro, thank you. Pardon me, gentlemen. You as well. Please excuse my intrusion. Okay. We are going to try and finish off this guy. Great. Let's angle ourselves so we can get to the slime as well. Perfect. Another one of these. Does that mean he's dead? Yes. Okay. Slowly making our way around. We've got the boutique sake. We've got the Bugarelli doll. Two things that are quite useful, uh, valuable trading wise. Oh wow, there's so many of these guys. healing item I want should just be there it is beautiful kill this guy dead and then make our way around to the checkpoint perfect Thank you. Not interested. Oh god, there are so many of them. Please let me activate this first. Okay. Can breathe a little easier now. Cool. I believe we have gathered all of the cores so far. There is still one small area I need to check out. I mean, obviously, there's a core right in front of me. Um, man, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to get to. I did rest here, correct? Correct. We've got a few more healing items. No, it actually, let me just hop down here. It's not really much reason not to, right? Yo, fight me.
These guys are slightly troublesome. Now the area I want to investigate is further on this way. See a bug there in the distance. I wanted to check in this little alcove. All right. Perfect. Now, I think that's everything. The vestige cores tend to be on raised platforms, and I've visited all of the raised platforms so far. There, it's a dead giveaway because the walls around them are much thicker. So I guess we just continue a back. We'll just retrace our steps a little bit. Oh, hello. Oh no. Time to leave. All right. Woo hoo hoo! That was. That got the pulse racing again. Let's activate this cutscene and finish the rest of our business here. There are so many vestige cores. So many. I feel like I know where... I, I feel like I've memorized where they all are. As well as the other important items, like the healing boosters, as well as the valuables you can trade. From this point on, it's not nearly as much of a headache. This guy over here seems to be weak to bayonet shots. Look at that. That could have gone a little bit more prime, but I won't complain. Alright, moving on. This part can be kinda terrible. That as a whole. I think what I want to try to do is... A uh, trick the atomic crab into jumping off the edge. Which means I'll need to clear off the enemies on that edge first. That's yeah, over to the right. Rather, the, the edge is to the right. The atomic crab was dead ahead of us when I said something. Atomic Crab is right in there. Hello, sirs. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, there's a pair. That's unfortunate. Alright, this is a little less perilous now.
snowy blast him. Over here, dummy. Flawless. <laughs> and that's how you get rid of him easily. Now, following this path around, this big dude up here guarding an awake module for us. Calm down there. Thank you. We have so many 109s, this pleases me greatly. Do they lose effect effectiveness over distance? Maybe not all of them hit him. Ha, baby wake modules. So, so thoughtful. Salami boys. Um, let's just proceed this way. Oh, wait. I'm done. We need to proceed this way. I'm pretty sure that was everything there. It's a relatively open area, the one we just uh, left from. Here, just that guy who is guarding. Well, he's holding another key. Ah, oh, the belly bump of doom. Yeah, I was ready for it this time. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, okay, that could have killed me. Ooh, that was scary. Oh man. Okay, okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, am I forgetting to pull a lever? No, 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 everything's fine. We go this way next. Hell yeah! We can toss this blood code. We got the stuff we needed. Slap on that. Replace that. Beautiful. Now we can do a little bit more melee damage. There aren't any shielded enemies, so let's replace that with this. Oh, what was I saying about it being good? Oh god. Get me out of here. Oh, I'm surrounded. I pointlessly want this prayer shawl, please. Got one thing. Still one of these little guys running around. I, c I can see you. All right, that looks like it was everything. Moving on. Hot damn, that was 
painful. But on the bright side, we are almost to the next checkpoint. The rest of this should be relatively straightforward. Oh god! Oh, no, I think I peed a little. That was too close. Just die, please. Alright, Queen Steel 1 of 2. Outstanding. Oh, yeah, we gotta grab that thing. believe that was the last of the Vestige Cores. Um, we'll just go this way. I'm trying to avoid fighting some of these guys. Oh. Oh! They've improved their tactics. Nobody likes you. Get out of here. I'd rather not fight him on that narrow bridge. Perfect. Oh, now there's two of them. Time to bail. I don't want the Hound on the crew. That's the whole reason I was trying to kill those guys. Time to leave. need to hit this checkpoint. Alright, so, that is everything uncovered. And I believe that is all the vestige cores. Yep, that looks like them. Yeah, there's like eight vestige cores here, which is insane. That is so many. What are you going to do with all those vestige cores? Oh, yay. Thanks, Lewis. Uh, there's an impaler over there I'm not really interested in. Although, I love that weapon. This playthrough, I won't be able to use it. So, you know, whatever. Let us grab... Um, the other queen steel, and then we'll upgrade our bayonet. And I'll go for a smoke break, and then we will, um, we're going to kill us a slimy stripper. How many anti-slows do I have? Three? We'll go ahead and slap them on there. Who knows? They might come in handy. I'm not 100% worried about slimy stripper. I fought her a lot, a lot in the Tower of Trials. She doesn't worry me so much anymore. I can also double check with Io and make sure that I've successfully upgraded, well, successfully collected all the vestige cores. Although Hunter is really the only one, or I mean Assassin's is the only one I'm really interested in. That one has a stun weapon as well as a few other things. And considering uh, how I have a fast weapon, that will be very useful for Argent Wolf a Berserker. Both the boss version of the Berserker as well as the mini boss Berserker at the end of the game. Spoilers. Great. 
There we go. I have tin, so I could upgrade the Sunset Bayonet up to plus three. Uh, yeah, plus three. But it's not exactly fantastic. Alright, check with Io here. Yeah, there we go. I do want that. Strength Vitality Up is very good. I think it comes with Overdrive. That's why I wanted Assassin so much. Um, yeah, we want Strength Vitality Up very badly. I should check with Prometheus and see if I've actually upgraded uh, Strength Dexterity. Get me out of here. Uh-huh, fascinating. I'm quite bitter towards Yakimo. I used to think he was cool. Now I just think he's a bit of a headache. I used to respect him, not so much anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, he does have his strengths. However, he is dumb as hell. He's dumber than a sack of walnuts. Let's grab us this, and this, and this, not standing, ooh, I want this too, we might actually be using Assassin for a bit, um, sure, Got quite a few 109s. I definitely want this. Can I still swing a bayonet with Atlas? That's what I need to know. Saints be praised! Alright. I guess we will grab a few more Atlas abilities then. It's Berserker is the one I couldn't I didn't want to think about. Berserker is the one that doesn't have enough dexterity. I guess that's all I really wanted. I would be able to quick dodge with Atlas, but I would have basically no I-Core. This has still got quite a bit to go. Why the hell not? Let's go ahead and grab Savvy Evasion as well. Back to Prometheus. Slap Savvy Evasion in there. Um, yeah, this looks decent enough. We'll be able to quickly refill our I-Core. Mm. Let's toss that on there for a little extra damage. Which, by the way, that does actually uh, impact your bullets, too. Both Merciless Reaper and uh, Blow of Madness and Flashing Fang. All three of those. Your next shot will be increased. And in the case of the Burning Disaster, the entire Flamethrower attack will be buffed. The, the entire duration of it. It's wildly impractical, but goddamn is it fun. Okay, then. Well, it is nicotine o'clock, according to my computer here. 
So I will return.
Okay, we are back. All right. So, oh, I got a present. Thanks, Yakimo. Right then. Let's murder us a boss. I feel like I'm fairly prepared. I'm slightly nervous, though. But I've got fairly decent equipment. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty confident to say the least. Uh whoops. Well this is gonna be interesting. Trying to apply all of my buffs. Alright, yeah, we're good. Yeah, nice one, Yakimo. Get these going first. That was expected. Well, that's a problem. Fire up this next. what I was waiting for. Outstanding. Now we need to be a little bit more cautious. Oh, this is not good. That, yeah, that was very not good. Probably would have been smarter to book it to the other end of the arena. Instead of cornering myself in that little area. The trick for that move, when she does the, uh... The, the spinning thing that spits orbs everywhere. You want to try to be as far away as possible. The large majority of the orbs will just land harmlessly on the ground around you. Oh yeah, well. Now at least we should be able to apply our buffs before it's before the fight actually starts. So we're gonna roll with poison, adrenaline, iron will, all that good stuff. That was early. I'm glad I didn't get hit by that. Well, we didn't actually get the poison to go off, but that's fine. We'll be back shortly. Poison her. I couldn't do it. Right now, she should do her slide. Outstanding. No, thank you. We 
could try to poison her again. Yeah, let's do it. Oh god, oh god, oh jeez, this is death. She's being really unpredictable now. Don't like it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to poison her now. Let me fire this off though. Oh god. Oh, she didn't kill me. Poison is worn off. Ah, oh, too greedy. That's what I was waiting for. She's dead. Two attempts. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of wish I hadn't made that one mistake on the first attempt, but uh, yeah, that was rather painless. Now we have to go hunt down a butterfly of delirium. That I'm not exactly looking forward to. It'll be fine though. It'll be fine. I can always switch to the night claw. And give myself a little extra mobility. At the cost of looking like Bella Lugosi. Lugo Lugosi? By looking like Vamp. Va Dracula. I can word. I swear I can words. Yeah, if we can knock out, um, if we can knock out Butterfly of Delirium as well, I think that'd be a good, uh, a good stopping point. I would, I really want to grab the Riot Breaker, but it seems like the weather is clearing up a bit, and I'd like to get to the grocery store before it starts raining again. So, yeah. dun 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 dun, dun. Cool. Is there anything else that I wanted to purchase? No, I think we're pretty okay as far as the rest of this is concerned. Yeah, we'll just continue. Hmm. Should I get the Riot Breaker? We'll, we'll see how long Butterfly of Delirium takes. I'm not as confident fighting the Butterfly as I am fighting uh, Invading Executioner. But I'm hoping it won't be too bad. Right, so let's replace some of our stuff here. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. She can't be poisoned, so that's a good swap out. Uh, we've got a healthy amount of anti-venoms. So 
yeah, this should be this should be okay. We've already looted everything. You know what? I think I am actually going to switch veils. There we go. Back to quick. Well, this does have camouflage. Slightly better venom resistance. Perfect. Okay, so we will start with... These three. I could have fired off a blood sacrifice. Ooh, doggy, if that's not the biggest bug I ever done seen. That was risky. I should have gone for that. That was very poorly timed, but that's okay. poisoned yet, so that's still good. I'll keep smacking her so that uh, Blade Dance will build up even more. idea how I avoided that, but I'll take it. Yeah, get away from the poison. That's not good. No, thank you. Those little poison clouds are annoying. We're just gonna outrun that. Ah! Almost winded up back in a poison cloud. No, thank you. Again. Yeah, I got caught by that. That's fine. I really wish that poison cloud would stop. No, thank you.
There, it's dead. First try. Hell yeah. Okay, I guess we're going to be continuing then. Outstanding. All right, well, there's no danger in between here and the next checkpoint, unless you count a cutscene with Lewis as dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, lady face. How you doing? I'm glad you are de-knifed. Let's move on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go ahead and get prepared for dude. Um, yeah, we'll get that ready. We'll swap uh, Bull of Madness with Blood Guard's position. So I have all my offensive stuff on one thing, all, well, most of my defense stuff on the other. And I said that backwards. Most of my offense stuff on one section, most of my defense on the other. And then we stumble across Lewis's hand. And this will give us the fire buff spell, assuming we want it. We probably will grab it, if I'm honest. Um, I should go ahead and purchase it and slap it on my character now. Just so that it'll be available whenever I get to Ridge of Frozen Souls. I don't know, Cathedral's pretty huge. We'll probably get quite a bit of experience going through there. Especially if we do not level up. Man, I should have saved my Queen Steel for the Riot Breaker. I don't know about you, Lewis, but that was crazier than a possum in a coffee can. Moving on. Ah, he got me. He got me twice. Cool, I guess. Come on now. Hop down. Let me fight you. Uh, yeah, we still got still got quite a bit to go. I think when we get to the decayed ship interior, I'll purchase the fire buff. But there is a lot, a lot of exploring we got to do first. Hello, sir. Please fight me in here, so the risk of falling off is minimal. So thoughtful.
Alright, these guys still are not interested, which is good for me. Let's just run in here and backstab this guy. He is the bigger threat. The other one doesn't have very much HP, and just kind of stands in one spot. Perfect. Now where is the group of jerks that are supposed to be around here? Did I pass them up? Did I already kill them? What's going on? I'm, in, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going mad. Where am I? Who am I? There they are. Okay. Just got mildly lost. It's fine. Everything's fine. There's that guy. Bonk off his shield. Backstab him. Piece of cake. Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. Same song, second verse. Uh, there's a thing? Oh, that, okay, there's the thing. I actually want to go this way first. So I can grab this. Oh. Well, okay. Oh boy. Well, that didn't take very long to kill me. Okay then. Ah, I uh, I see where I stand. All right, so this guy again. He missed. Why won't you let me be cool? I don't think that guy over there is going to bother me. This one might. Yo, come on. No! Okay, we're good. You are a bastard. Nothing else is coming after me. Dude didn't drop anything. Alright, continuing on. I don't think that one is interested in me. We have no reason to go over there. Come around here to try to get a shot on me. So that I can fight you easily. I kind of need the big dude to leave me alone. <clears throat> you don't see anything, big fella. Get out of here, dude. Sniper duel. That's good. Oh, God. Yikes, that hurt. Your turn. Sure.
Oh shit, I almost forgot about you. Whew, that made me panic a little bit. Oh, I forgot the fancy pen. Whoops. plop down right behind the Cerberus Knight, but... Wait, what? We're gonna try to make our way around this way first. Oh, hey, Shiny. Oh, hey. Right, well, that is a dead end. We have to drop down over here. Ooh, almost walked off the edge there. Let's go ahead and drop down here and clear this out. Terrifying. We need to make our way back to where we were previously so that I can grab the fountain pen that I forgot. I don't know why I need it, but it's usually a good habit to pick up all the uh, valuables. Yeah, it's just like right over here. Oh, I could drop down, you say. I do want to explore that area, so let's try to land on this thing. Perfect. Hello, sir. Time to die. I need those. I'm going to a rave later on. Need all of the chemical lights. You didn't see anything, big fella. Oh shit, he must have heard me. Oh, he's got backup, I think. No? Alright, well. All's well, that ends well. Right, so there are still a few more places I have yet to go. Swing at me, please. Or not, that works. I am content with this. Shoot him from here? I don't think so. We've almost made it to the right breaker. We're about halfway with strength and dexterity. Ah, oh, he he's gonna win. Have gone a lot messier. I 
feel like there's more guys just around the corner, though. We should actually hit the checkpoint. No, we'll, we'll, no, we'll finish clearing this area out first. So we won't have to come back here. This should just be a stamp thing? No, it's an awake module. It's a good thing. I went over here. Boop. Man, having ranged attacks are nice. Okay, that doesn't really lead me anywhere. Now there's one path I am neglecting. I'm trying to remember how to get back to it. Uh, yeah, it must be back over this way. There we go. Here it is. This one should lead to the broadsword. And a little bit of other loot as well. Surprise! Why did I pick this up? I don't know. Just take the ladder. Face full of lost crotch. Nothing here except for that one purple dude. This should lead down to the one loot you can see from the beginning of the level. Yeah, here we go. Better activate that just in case. I feel like I might be missing a Vestige Core. Got a single Dark Seeker one. I believe there's two? Maybe. Have I traveled along every path here? It appears so. Alright. I'm satisfied with this. Now, how do I get back home? Ah, yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, looks like we're going to have to fight our way through that one room with three guys, which is going to be a minor pain, considering this is not the best angle to attack them from. But I do have this. Cool, I guess. Um... Let's fire this up. So we can kill him quickly. We've got a little bit of extra damage for this guy. So I am mildly concerned about the upcoming fight against Insatiable Despo. De Depo? Despo? Whatever his face is. I'm a little bit worried about that fight. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. There is a regeneration item I want. If I can remember how to get to it. Let's hit the checkpoint and uncover the map first. Yeah, that's the fatal drop. This one is not, but it leads me to a place I've already been. And that was just nothing. Well, no, I think that was an awake module. Well, let's, let's just go around here. 
Where is that regen item? I would really like to have it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just drop down here. Ah, this is the way I wanted to go anyways. So we'll hit the checkpoint and uncover the map so I can find out where that one regeneration item is. Oh, he's still alive. Right, this can get fairly gnarly. Got a dude around the corner here who can do quite a bit of damage. So let's go ahead and get fully buffed. And then we'll pop him, or not. Okay, much better. Now I can kind of figure out where that one place is. I saw it very briefly. Let's grab the right breaker first. That's not good. That probably woke up the other one. Yep. I wonder which one is actually better damage. 297... 327, yeah. Higher upgrade level. I don't really plan on visiting the depths, so I'm not going to bother grabbing the depths map. What's up here? It's like right there. Not particularly interested. I am interested, however, in these powerful spices. Okay, so... Everything's dead. Let's try to find the one path I didn't take yet. I believe this might be it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, now I'm a little bit scared, because the Cerberus Knight can F me up proper. Here he comes. Please let me grab this first. Uh, okay. Well, he's just gonna hang out there. Oh, he's not stuck anymore. Thank you for your patronage. Alright, cool. Now we can hit the checkpoint. I'm also going to change this around. Wait, how do I get back to the checkpoint? Here we go. Woo. This is going remarkably smoothly, if I say so myself. Wee. This has been quite an enjoyable challenge run. A very, very, very nice break compared to 
the rebar club challenge. Jesus, that one was horrible. That is hands down the worst weapon in the game. It was so bad I had to break the rules of the challenge, kind of. I did mention at the very beginning of the Rebar Club challenge that I would probably have to cast Skull King to get death. I don't think that's going to be a problem in this challenge. Yeah, come around this way. Oh god, there's two. Well, this is death. Thank god your range is short. Oh boy. Not that short though. I don't think so. They don't have very much health, but man, they can throw out some serious damage. Yoink, please don't kill me. those guys quickly. So that the other guy doesn't catch up and kill me too. Hell. Can't see him through his dead buddy. Whatever, we'll just spam him. Oh god, hello. How is it going? You come around here much? What's up with you? Please die. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> oh man. That was quite terrifying. Oh yeah, here's the other vestige core. Oh god, no! Oh, sadness. That was so... Oh. I can't believe I got hit by that. Well, that was unfortunate. Fire this up too. And then we'll sneaky sneaky up to this guy. And hopefully he'll stay up here when I backstab him. If he falls down, that'd be unfortunate. Cool. You die. Oh, this guy saw me. That's not great. Alright, this is fine. We can get rid of this guy. So the new plan is we're going to fire up this, trick these guys into coming out. Oh, looks like I only got one of them. There he is. Bye. Oh god, I'm still going to die. God, I'm gonna get murdered poorly. Swiftly. Some something bad is going to happen to me is what I'm trying to say. New plan. 
Oh, this is not a good new plan. Oh my god. I killed one. I got the thing I wanted, too. Ah, we forgot to upgrade fire weapon. Yeah, this is this is pretty deathly feeling. I'm not gonna lie. Get me out of here, please. There's one guy with a bayonet over there. We can backstab him and then run up the ladder. We can backstab him and run up the ladder. Oh boy. That was ridiculous. I can't believe I survived that. Okay, big fella, your turn. After I get rid of the turret, though. That turret, I got a grudge. Oh, why, thank you. I can now collect that item. You, sir, had done me a service. Delicious. separate them. Whoa! That damn near took off my ear. Okay, that was just right in the chest. Fuck, I'm dead. Okay, this is bad. This is quite bad. Um... How am I safely going to get there? I think I should just book it. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try we'll try booking it. I'm quite worried though. I'll fire this off too, why not? I could use every ounce of defense I can get. Same plan as before. Oh, hey, cool. Something jumped off the edge. Get in there, backstab this guy. Get up the ladder quickly. Get up! Alright. He's not dead yet. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit chaotic. Oh, this is going to be really bad. Fuck no. Oh, hi. Calculated. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. You bastards, quit shooting me.
just do that to start with. Yeah, I panic dodged. I deserve that. This is fine. There's a dude here. He is no more. Please don't turn around. I beg you, please do not turn around. Shit. I don't actually know if that reduces damage. Oh yeah, I guess it does reduce damage somewhat. Thank god those guys are weak. And they don't even drop riot breakers. Hmm, excuse me. So here's the plan. We're gonna drop on this dude's head, uh, and then magic will happen. How did you hear me? He was waiting. He was waiting around the edge for me. Uh, okay. He's dead now. So I am quite worried about insatiable despo. I'm worried that I won't have the damage to break his little pillars. It should be okay. Should be okay. But, you know, I am still a little nervous about it. Let's... Let's swap to Atlas, actually. Because if I do Blow of Madness and Flashing Fang, I'll definitely be able to... Uh, what do you call it? I'll definitely be able to blast it to pieces. Oh, we've got so many 109s. Yeah, I'm done with Prometheus. Moving on to the next one. Hunter? Wait, did we grab everything from Hunter? I'm thinking of Assassin. Assassin is the other one I want. There wasn't a passive here, was there? No. Looks like we're doing Atlas then. So we can get both strength uh, passives. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Slap on a little extra HP. Really? I would need one dexterity passive, which I have. They should also let me quick dodge. No, only normal? All right, now I can quick dodge. That's quite surprising, if I'm honest. Okay, so defense, defense, that, and since I have the dexterity, oh, I really want this though. Woo, easy. Mind. Okay, yeah, I guess it, I guess, whatever. That'll have to, duh. Yeesh, only ten i -core, though. Alright, well. Let's get in there. Now 
I should be able just to blast this first blood pillar. Oh, I don't have enough. I, I forgot I also needed ammo. This will get him poisoned. I said this will get him poisoned. Perfect. Oh, shit. This won't do me much, but it's something. Should be able to get three off on it. This is that was pathetically low damage. I had to know though. Yeah, you can't summon pillars in phase two, buddy. healed and I was thinking about that right about the time I died I was thinking to myself if he catches me with a quick one too he will kill me but no he didn't need to use the quick one too all right which one actually does more damage because I believe the right breaker has slightly better yeah 264 275 Looks like we're using the right breaker. It's just barely more damage. Alright, so this and this. This. And that'll be good enough. I'll use the same trick that I used for when I was doing the uh Rebar Club Challenge. Cool. Oh, I should probably collect my haze. gonna summon one of his little pillars. No, he didn't. Alright.
back here. Eventually, we'll be able to poison him. Oh god. We're fine. Ah, okay. Whatever, he's poisoned now. Fight this up. This. have much long-range options when he pulls out his axe, though. Okay, sure. If you insist. I learned my lesson, so I'm healing up to full. Game. Yikes, that hurt. Out of healing. Damn it, this guy fucking sucks. I hate him. And I'm really glad he was not in Tower of Trials, because then I'd just pull my eyes out. <laughs> Oh man. So let it be known, big weapons with a good blocking capability is your best bet for this battle. Uh, using bayonets? Not so much. Okay, so we first want this and this and this. So that we can stop his stupid thing here. And now it's time to reclaim this. Eh, I could level up. I could bail. At least I'm able to poison him a bit better this time around. There we go. Kind of doesn't help that he's quite uh, bayonet resistant. Let's get in there and do a little bit more damage to him. So, I could hit him with a few more of these, if I'm honest. We want that attack. This is 
just got a really long recovery. Oh shit. Staggered. Good. Uh, out of Venom. That's fine. Also out of Iron Will, which is less fine. Oh boy, that was close. I like that move too. Oh shit, that's. Oh, that was death. Damn it. Okay, so far, Insatiable Despo is the worst boss. I could swap blood codes and get a little bit more extra damage. Thanks to stuff like uh, Blade Dance. But I really want this gift. Flashing Fang would be nice too. Well, let's try this again. Let's just get straight back in there again. Thank you. Hit him with a few of these. Yep. And we're going to continue building up I core. Now we need to start buffing. Ah, too early. Same deal as before. He's poisoned. Now we just need to survive. Probably. Yeah, the the poison's not kill him, gonna kill him. Who am I kidding? He's dead. All right. Whew. Beautiful. That made me so nervous. <laughs> Whew. We killed him, though. He's dead. Well, there we go. Very first day of the new challenge, and we got ourselves at... Wait, what happened to my hat? I, I won't ask questions. Anyways, very, very first day of the challenge, and uh, we got ourselves a triple boss buffet. Not, not, not too bad. Not too bad. We're already at the cathedral. I think that's a pretty good stopping point. We'll collect all the things, we'll head back to home base, we'll uh, go ahead and crash the game when we get to home base, 
And then... That's it, I guess. Only real challenge was... Insatiable Despo so far. Invading Executioner went down in two attempts. Butterfly of Delirium was one attempt. So was Oliver. But Oliver barely counts as a boss. Insatiable Despo... That took a few more. Alright. So now we got a giant pile of cutscenes. First would be Mia's dream, then it would be Mia waking up, then it would be Io fussing with the cabinets, and then something else? Conversation with Io, and that's the last thing. But yeah, so far this is progressing rather smoothly. We'll be stuck with terrible Icor as we go through uh, Cathedral. But we should have the gifts leveled up that we want by the time we reach Berserker. Hopefully. Depends on how much death there is. Yeah, cutscene one is Mia's dream. We need to go to Snow Mountain. Mia wakes up. Sees Weaponsmith Chick hanging out by her bedside. Trying to force her into being a bestie. Ah, oh, this is the one I was forgetting. Everybody's sitting around. And then it's Io playing with the cabinet for the masks. There she is. And then conversation with Io. Stupendous. Little Missy, I got no idea what you're talking about. Oh, hi, Mia. <laughs> Hello. That's weird. Hey, lady face. Glad you're doing okay. Right. So, we do have Dark Seeker. I don't believe there's anything I really want. This would be handy, but we're not casting. That's really the only other thing that could be handy. Uh, I could slap this on, but eh, it's not that great. It only lasts for the duration that you're focused. And the build-up does not stack with other stuff. It, it, the build-up does not stack with your um, regular weapon buff. There wasn't anything out of Berserker I wanted, right? No. Precision, maybe. Now that I realize how little stagger damage that the um, bayonets cause, that might be good. Yeah, it just looks like just Atlas, really. Fell blood barrier might be handy, but not exactly. Dog doggy fighter is not that great. I am not Michael Vick. Um, well, yeah, let's go to the cathedral, then. Wait, I'm dumb. I'm made of stupid. Now to this challenge. I might actually take a small break from Code Vein. I've never finished Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and I should do that. There's no reason to leave uh, Dracula's Unkilled. And I don't really care about the HP loss. We. They won't chase me down here. Oh, I say as one chases me down here. Time to leave. Get, get, go, go, go. No! Ah! 
All right, we're good. Well, I guess there's a cutscene. I'm pretty feel I'm feeling really confident about this run. I like bayonets. I like them quite a bit. They're very, very, very practical. Especially if you have a another weapon that you can use to dish out some really heavy melee damage. Bayonets are quite good. They draw enemies close to you so you can smash them to death with your big weapon. But beyond that, they're just not bad. Like, they're quite practical. Uh, I already said that. They're very quick. They're good for building up status, but not as good as one-handed swords. The key with uh, bayonets is mostly dancing around. Being able to bob and weave and zip in and out of enemies' ranges. Something I'm not particularly good at, but that's half the reason why I'm doing this. The other thing is just a depth snap. I'm not going to the depths, if I can help it. Now we need to get us a good thumbnail for next time. I got a new frame, you say? Something like that, maybe? Yeah, I feel like that would be a decent thumbnail. But honestly, that Blood Veil works a bit better than the uh, Ochre Hounds. Although I kind of really still want to use a Hound-style Blood Veil. Who knows, maybe I'll pick up uh, Night Fang. I think that's fairly close by. It is a bit heavy, because it is a hound style, but otherwise it's not too bad. Okay, so, um, I guess we will end it right about here. Thank you everybody for joining me. It's been a blast. Shout out to the people who watch the streams after they've ended. You keep me going, you fill my heart with warmth. You guys are the best. Right. Farewell, and have a wonderful rest of the day.